the most sick time of the year. <laughs> it's a new Christmas song that we're going to come out with because it seems like there's so many people out there sick. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you're not homesick today. For whatever reason, what you just said put into my head. You remember the old song, Grandma, Grandma got run over by a reindeer? Dirt, 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 It is one of my least favorite Christmas songs, so that will not really? be on Christy's Christmas song list. Which, by the way, today we do start our Christmas song, so stick around for that. Now, are we doing, we're doing one a day? Or? One a day. So what I did is we'll have a Christmas song of the day. Okay. I have some fun facts that I'll give out. And then we'll put that up online, and then we'll make a whole collection of Christie's Christmas song playlists, is what I'm calling it. <laughs> one, one song a day. So that I'm not overwhelming everyone. It will be a lot, though. I oh, love Christmas. Wait, are you going to sing every time it plays? No. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. <laughs> Probably. That will end up happening, I bet you. But I also have fun facts because that's something my mom always did would be like if we were taking a longer trip somewhere, she'd have these fun facts ready to go. And then that way you can go back and look at the fun facts and share with your family. Who determines if they're fun or not? Is that you or? Me, I am the fun. You're the fun determiner? I am the fun judge over <laughs> here. Uh-oh. Uh, all right, we got a great show in store for you. By the way, I'm Chris Berg. This is Christy Christmas Song Larson. We were talking about some tips for supporting people living with epilepsy today. Also, don't let those holiday leftovers linger. How's that for alliteration? Mm -hmm. Don't let them sit there in the fridge and go to waste. Chow down. Mm, so we'll show you how you can recreate them and have a little leftover party. But we it's do want to... It's freezing in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's cold in here. It's warm oh outside. Gosh. It's a little bit opposite today because, uh, Justin, I think we're having some uh, more warm temps in our future. We are going to have warmer temperatures for I'm the day today, burgundy. but it is uh, going to be a lot cooler compared to yesterday. Let's take a look at uh, the extended or the uh, hourly forecast. We have plenty of sunshine out there as we go through the day today. Temperatures getting to the mid 40s. We're into the mid 50s yesterday with a northwesterly wind that will turn uh, windy as we go through later on to the morning into this into the evening. Temperatures fall into the mid 20s for low temperatures tonight under mainly clear skies. Here's the current temperatures around the region. 36 in Fargo, 34 Valley City, 33 at Jamestown, Fergus Falls and into the lower 30s, lower 30s at Devil's Lake and Thief River Falls holding at 35 degrees right now. So the uh, current wind speeds show the wind is starting to pick up around the region mainly 15 to 25 miles per hour, some gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour. And because of that, we have a wind advisory in effect. This is from, say, I-94 north. Uh, from, say, uh, Clay County north to uh, Barnes County north, including the Devil's Lake Basin, for winds over 30 miles per hour with gusts over 45 miles per hour, again until 3 p.m. today. We are seeing mainly dry conditions, plenty of sunshine out there across the area, and uh, we have high pressure in charge off to our west. And even though we're getting a northwesterly wind, it's still a, a warm flow. The really warm air well off to our east, the really cool air off to our north. So as we go through this afternoon, temperatures rising through the 30s into the mid-40s into the southern valley, staying dry but windy with that northwesterly wind. Low temperatures tonight early into the mid-20s, starting off your day tomorrow near 30. And then as we go through the afternoon tomorrow, temperatures even warmer into the upper 40s. And as you can see with the green and blue, a chance of a rain or snow shower mainly late in the day, mainly into our northern counties. So planning your day into the Southern Valley, mostly sunny, windy and warm, low to mid 40s. And we're into the low 40s across Lakes Country with sunny skies, still windy and warm across northwestern Minnesota. Temperatures into the low to mid 30s. And we are going to see temperatures into the mid to upper 30s into the Northern Valley and Devil's Lake Basin with mostly sunny skies, still windy and warm. There's your chance of a rain snow shower on Wednesday, high of 47, then 41 on Thursday, 44 on Friday, mostly sunny skies and partly cloudy Saturday, high of 43, all the way up to 48 on Sunday, mostly cloudy and breezy. And we're trying to get back to normal temperatures for Monday, a high of 35 partly cloudy skies with a chance of some snow showers. I'm liking the above average yeah. temperatures mm -hmm. really well. I don't think we need to try to go back down. No, <laughs> we don't. We don't need normal. Abnormal is good right now. Normal right now is about 29 degrees Ooh. for a high. So we're 20 degrees above like normal. Yep. Almost 20 degrees. And yeah, we were we tied a record of, of uh, 54 degrees for a high temperature yesterday. Woo! Did it feel like that to you? It Did didn't feel like 54. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll take but it. Yay. Thanks, Justin. Mm -hmm.
Um, we do, before we get to the Christmas songs, which is, so we're excited about, we do have our Fargo Forest Buffalo Wild Wings four pack giveaway. And today's mm -hmm. winner is Sarah. She's from Jamestown. She's receiving one four pack. Try to say your last name. Um, Klein Kekken? Klein Kekken? Klein Kekken? Klein Kekken? Klein Kekken? Klein Klein Connect, maybe? I'm thinking that's probably right. But Sarah, we just butchered your name. Sorry, Sarah, but you did win. Um, <laughs> right. So she gets four tickets to a Fargo Forest home game. She also gets a voucher for each ticket for a small popcorn, small drink, and then, of <clears> course, <throat> that Buffalo Wild Wings um, free shareable with a purchase. So if you want to be a winner just like her, all you have to do is go get yourself registered to get yourself You're just like, all right, let's go. Sign up. But I don't care because this is my favorite time of the yeah. year. So we're kicking things off with a traditional song to kind of be like, hey, here it is. And so we're starting with, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Are we going to play the whole thing or are we just going to sing like Christmas? Turn it up. Doesn't it make you feel good? Yes. Who is this singing? Who's listening once again? Well, this song, this is the Bing Crosby version. Now, this song has been recorded by a lot of different people. I know Michael Bublé's done it. Um, but this song was first written in 1951 by Meredith Wilson. Since then, as I said, has been played by many people. Um, actually, it's believed that when he's saying, like, take a look in the five and ten, da, 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 uh, there's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well. It is said that that might be from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, which is where they believe Wilson wrote the song because Yarmouth's Grand Hotel has a tree in there, and then the park is right across from the hotel. It's called Frost Park, and uh, they used to have I used to have a tree outside of there too. So they're trying to take credit for it, but he's also from Mason City, Iowa. So they're also trying to say, hey, maybe it was inspired by the historic park in hotel in his hometown. A little fun facts for you. Okay, also Christmas, actually it sends at least 15,000 people to the ER every year. Hopefully you guys are being safe out there because of all of those ladder incidents when they're putting up lights. <laughs> um, Getting electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Don't pull a Christmas vacation and, and fall from the ladder. Make sure someone's there. Um, also, for people who tell your kids don't use Xmas because that's crossing out Christ, well, that's actually not true because... Um, what do you mean it's not true? It's not true because we frequently abbreviate Christmas as Xmas, and X is the Greek letter for C-H-I, which is an abbreviation for the word Christ in Greek. So you still are being appropriate when you say Xmas, because I know that was something my pastor used to say, don't cross out yeah, Christ yeah. on Christmas, but... But I don't speak Greek. I don't either, but it's, <laughs> a, it's still okay. And then also, with all of the popular Christmas songs, Winter Wonderland, the uh, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, um, just out roasting on an open fire, um, those are actually mostly written what? or co-written by Jewish people. <laughs> So. Which makes sense. Jesus Christ was Jewish. So. There you go. <laughs> so there's some of the fun facts for today and today's Christmas song. Christmas oh, it just makes me so happy. Me too. And I had to start with Bing Crosby because I just absolutely love He's his amazing. voice. And I love him in White Christmas, <clears throat> and it's one of my favorite Christmas movies. So, Hey, Lynn, if you happen to be watching, can we just get like a fun snowman to kind of bounce across the screen? Or <laughs> Oh, my gosh. A different time when we don't know the lyrics, we could have like a snow or a reindeer yeah. like running on the lyrics. It would be great. And Lynn, I'm not putting this on you because I don't expect this to happen. But if we could have one that actually did it to the beat, like, you know, see the, the lights on the houses that like <gasps> go to the beats and deep, 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 deep. Oh. We could have a Christmas thing. Just I goes, wish someone here had lights that played to music. If there is, email us and let us know because I would love to come out and look at your house and watch the little. You just crank Ben Crosby in your car. and Yes. Yes. There's so, some people who have too much time on their hands. Can you give us a hint what's coming up tomorrow? <clears throat> Is it the Doe Deschanel? What, what's your name? Zoe. Zoe Deschanel. Um, is that Are you not planning that far in advance? Is, is that it? tomorrow or is that on Thursday? I can't remember, but it's definitely coming up this week. That was one of your requests. I love that song. And so what I've tried to do is match some fun facts if there's different songs going on or just random fun facts. So Can we just play like 
good chunks of Elf tomorrow if we do that during the show? I think, and I think the song's going to play on Thursday. Playing chunks of, I don't think we have that much <laughs> money for the movie rights. <laughs> you know what? Let's just reach out to Will Ferrell and have him come on, yes. be on the show with us. And he can As reenact Elf. Elf. I'll be Zoe. And you can just be the uh, Papa Elf. <laughs> there you go. I see. I'll be. I'll be the grumpy dad. He's like, "Come on, Dad. I have all the plans for today. We can go ice skating. We can hold hands." And you can and tear down like... all my Christmas decorations. <laughs> yeah. uh, check this out. Doppelganger City here. Everyone yesterday was going berserk over Prince Harry's engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, what's her name? Megan. Yes. So yesterday, somebody threw this up as Prince Harry's. That is. Eerie, they right? do look super similar. Oh my god. Especially gosh. when Prince Harry has his beard going on. Yes. He doesn't always have his beard, but then his red kind of comes out a little bit more in his beard. And Carson's definitely a redhead, so they do, they do look alike. They both kind of have a little bit of the same nose. Absolutely. And yeah. Carson is royalty right now in Philly. I mean, so, <laughs> you know. That is very true. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, well, we have a lot to get to here on North Dakota today, so when we come back, we're talking about epilepsy, so stick around. We have much more.